Jeff Bezos is the type of businessman that doesn't know when to back down. After getting slammed by the US General Accountability Office GAO with refusal to revoke NASA's lunar human landing system to his bitter rival Musk's SpaceX, the founder of Blue Origin took to his company's blog to pen an open letter to the administrator of NASA. Cam Bezos' desperate effort overturned SpaceX's contract to develop its spaceship for landing NASA's astronaut on the moon. Join us as we explore Bezos' last-ditch attempt to win a human landing system for himself. Space travel and exploration is an expensive endeavor. It guzzles billions of dollars in research and development alone. Despite being the wealthiest person alive, according to Forbes and other sources, Bezos is hell-bent on getting government money to build his spaceships. However, his Blue Origin Consortium national team was found unworthy of getting a contract from NASA to build the human lander system that will take astronauts from moon orbit to the surface as part of Project Artemis. What did the national team lack? NASA found National Team's proposal to be technically inferior, as it is limited in payload capacity compared to the proposal from the eventual winner. Apart from the interior design, the National Team asked for $5.99 billion, nearly double that of the $2.99 billion that SpaceX wanted. It was a no-brainer that NASA would go for SpaceX's design. However, Bezos didn't bargain for NASA to award the contract solely to SpaceX, as he was hoping for a parallel contract, following NASA's habit of giving out the same contract to competing companies for preventing redundancy and fostering competition. His hopes were dashed when cash-strapped NASA announced it didn't have enough funds to give the national team or the third contestant another contract. The agency was having trouble securing adequate funding from Congress, which was busy cutting its allocation. Jeff Bezos wasted no time going to the GAO to file a complaint against NASA. Recall, this is standard procedure for him when he loses a contract. The same scenario played out with the $10 billion Jedi contract Amazon lost to Microsoft, which had the Pentagon eventually cancelling the contract rather than be bogged down with court cases. Bezos argued before the GAO that NASA erred by 1. not offering multiple awards, 2. not cancelling the bidding process when the agency realized it wouldn't be able to fund more than one contract, and 3. favoring SpaceX by failing to evaluate all the proposals impartially. Blue Origin expected NASA to consult them for discussions on the costs quoted in their proposal. Blue Origin was able to get to work on the contract suspended while GAO considered its petition. Meanwhile, Bezos was pursuing another avenue to land a human landing system contract. His company started to lobby politicians to have more money awarded to NASA. Blue Origin reasons that a human landing system contract would drop for them by shaking the tree hard and long enough. Whether the plan will work or not remains to be seen. However, Blue Origin has received confirmation that the GAO route wasn't going to work as its petition had been soundly rejected, in contrast to the outcome of its efforts to overturn the Jedi contract. This disappointment came as a damper to Bezos' jubilant mood shortly after he completed a well-publicized trip to space atop Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket. In its well-documented rebuttal, GAO ruled that NASA expressly put all offerers on notice that the number of awards was subject to available funding and the agency could make multiple contract awards, a single award, or no award at all. GAO also found that NASA's evaluation was consistent with applicable procurement law, regulation, and solicitation terms. To the extent that there were any errors, Blue Origin cannot establish any reasonable possibility of competitive prejudice. This decision paved the way for NASA and SpaceX to work together to meet the agency's mission schedule for 2024. The GAO's decision would have been a sign to move on for some businessmen, but not Bezos. He has turned his attention to penning an open plea to the administrator of NASA, the Honorable Bill Nelson. Bezos started out restating his company's aim, which is to build a future where millions of people live and work in space to benefit the Earth. Presenting his company as responding to a patriotic clarion call rather than carrying out legitimate business it's expected to profit from, Bezos touches on how Blue Origin answered NASA's urgent call to develop a human landing system. Bezos realizes his company will not be able to carry out the enormous task alone, hence bands together with three major partners, giving them access to a network of more than 200 suppliers spread across 47 states. Bezos admits receiving more than half a billion dollars from NASA in the proposal development stage compared to the $135 million that SpaceX got at the same stage. Here, Bezos does some backpatting as he claims his national team did a fine job. What did the national team accomplish with all that money? 
According to Bezos, the team developed and risk-reduced a safe, mass-efficient design that could achieve a human landing in 2024. He elaborated that the team created a 21st century lunar landing system inspired by the well-characterized Apollo architecture, an architecture with many benefits. Just like Apollo prioritized safety, the national team was also seriously invested in safety. However, the national team did better than Apollo by building sustainability and affordability into NASA's future lunar operations. To achieve the dual goal of affordability and sustainability, the team settled for hydrogen as fuel. Hydrogen has the benefit of being the highest performing rocket fuel and being available for mining on the moon, meaning future operations on and from the moon are sustainable. If you are wondering where you heard that before, it is SpaceX, which has had plans to produce methane on Mars to power its starships and a permanent colony or human presence on Mars. However, the claim of affordability flies out of the window when the initial bill to NASA is almost $6 billion, a bill NASA outright admitted it couldn't afford to commit to. Bezos writes that NASA's decision to give the contract to SpaceX alone was going to kill off meaningful competition, something that had contributed to NASA's success in its former missions. He also pleaded that by shunning the national team, NASA was going to miss out on the benefits that the more than 200 suppliers associated with the national team could bring to the table, as opposed to the vertically integrated approach of SpaceX. However, it is hard to take Bezos' sermon on competition seriously when his company is on record for attempting to use the US Patent Office to block SpaceX by applying to patent landing rockets on drone ships on the sea. If it had succeeded, SpaceX would have been prevented from using the method, a method SpaceX was already near perfecting at the time and Blue Origin had not even launched a rocket yet. Bezos continues to expound on the risk of NASA's single-source approach as giving leverage to SpaceX and leading SpaceX attempting to renegotiate missed deadlines, design changes, and cost overruns. The last point is a subtle insinuation that SpaceX is deliberately underquoted for the contract, only to request more money while the project is facing delays. Bezos indeed has a lot to say about stifling competition, considering his Amazon company has been accused of colluding with other companies to fix ebook prices. The world's richest man rounded off his groveling by offering to cut down Blue Origin's quoted costs. He gave his company a soft landing by pointing out that NASA offered only SpaceX the chance to revise their price and funding profile, a mistake on the agency's part. NASA now has the opportunity to correct that mistake by letting Blue Origin solve NASA's budgetary constraints. One of the ways Blue Origin will do this is to magnanimously waive all payments in the current and next two fiscal years, up to $2 billion permanently. This is a roundabout way of saying Blue Origin will lop off $2 billion from its proposed bill to NASA for the human landing system to bring it closer to SpaceX's proposal. However, Bezos should have realized this may be coming a little too late. NASA is quite comfortable with its choice of SpaceX's proposal and has been validated by the GAO. Bezos should rather spend his energy on other endeavors like his space tourism program, a space he can try to establish himself in before SpaceX decides to offer him some competition there. Let us know what you think Bezos will achieve with his open plea to NASA's administrator in the comment section.